we're gonna have to adjust this a wee bit. Hello, loves. We're just going to be doing some live adjustments here. That's a little bit better. <sighs> Hello. Wow, this is bright. Wow, y'all can see these bags. Holy shit. So I do have the light sh live chat live chat on hello my loves um welcome to the madness um i'm actually going to be doing a get ready with me style video we're going to be talking about my favorite makeup products i'm going to be featuring um some new products that are actually going to release in a, a less than a day um it is from viva cosmetics this is also a sponsored video um i feel like this is like my first or second sponsored video like ever, um, I say first, but first Latina owned sponsored video. We got some new products we're gonna be talking about and we're actually just gonna dive in. So let me know if you're here. Let me know what you're doing. What are you up to? We have a little, a thing. We have a little, un con, un con, un con teo, un con teo. So you're gonna hear me gulping and all that. I'm gonna try to, Keep an eye on the live chat. I don't know why it just doesn't show it to me. Oh, Lisa's here. Hi, Lisa. I hope you guys are all doing well. I figured I'd do this as a live. It's a little bit easier for me lately to just do a live video with you guys and um, just upload it um, so I don't have to. I'm dealing with some issues with my computer. It's a little laggy. I'm not able to edit. So, hey, hello, goodbye. How'd you doing? It's Monday, y'all. It's about to be Tuesday, which still doesn't make it any better. You know what I'm saying? It just does not make it any better. Um, so I'm super, super excited to talk to you guys about a few products today. Um, and it's about a, a Latina-owned or Latinx-owned um, makeup brand. I know I haven't been talking a lot of makeup on my channel lately because, well, things have happened, right? So I'm going to get ready. Take this ugly mug. I still have some residual mascara on we were just not going to be scrubbing our eyes today i'm super super sensitive i have the worst migraine <laughs> this will help <clears throat> and i'm pretty much just going to get ready with you guys okay how's that i just want to look pretty for you all um anyway so viva cosmetics reached out and they wanted to uh see if i like their new product that launched um they've been working on it since 2020 Oh, Devika! Thank you so much. Oh, I love you guys so much. You guys are like so supportive. I mean, I've been doing this what? A decade? 11 years? 10 or 11 years? I've been on it. I've been on it. On it. Um, so, hmm. Yeah, what am I doing? I have a mess over here. So what happens is I use my favorite products all the time. Literally, I have not been wearing foundation. I think the other day I wore foundation and I was like, it's too much. I wanted to go home and take it off. Not that I felt the foundation. It's just that I felt like I looked heavy. I've been honing in on just using my concealer to hide these horrific under eyes. Listen, I work two full-time jobs. A bitch is not trying to look like she works two full-time jobs, okay? We want to look casket sharp at every point, okay? That's it. Hello, goodbye. Anyway, so Viva Cosmetics reached out and they wanted me to try out some of their products. I love their stuff. They have some of the best lip products. Like, I'm not even kidding you. I, I, have, I have their lipsticks. Like, nobody's business. Like, I love their lipsticks. Look at this color. This is my favorite color. It's, it's loved. It's been loved. Um, this is Lupita. It's one of my favorite nudes. Just thought I'd start with that because this right here is the sexiest my lips but better color. I love it. It's so good. I don't know. It's got that very soft vanilla. So if you're looking for lipsticks and you like your cream lipsticks, Lupita, mira que lindo. Anyway, look at me. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, so Viva Cosmetics reached out. They've been working on this launch since 2020. They've been working on these products for since 2020. It's a little self-care, right? So it's for your lips. Of course, a lot of their products are lip-based. Um, and I'm going to be using, of course, their palette, which I love. It's like a highlighter palette. It's gorgeous. 
Anyway, so this is the Dulce de Guava collection. Okay, I'm super excited. I've been using this every night. No cap, I'm not even lying. I've been using this all night, every night since I got it. Um, so when I get it, I got it like going on day four or five. I was excited to get this. Been living it. And I emailed them. I was like, bet, I got you. I got you. Say less. They're one of the most supportive brands that I have ever dealt with. They just saw little old fluffy me and they were like, oh, we like her. Hi, friend. So, hey, friend. Hi, Leslie. Um, so, if you guys have any questions, just comment them down below. We're going to talk about favorite makeup products, but they're just going to be featured because, hello, sponsorship. I live for it. Can we get, like, you know, happy for people that get sponsorships? I Listen, I am not going to sponsor something I do not like clearly because my channel has like no sponsorship it's like no videos that are sponsored not that anybody likes me that much any fucking way by the way in this channel we curse things mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right guys so i'm actually gonna prime my face and do all that and just show you guys like what my favorite products right now are um I'm actually going to start off with the lip scrub. So they have a lip scrub and a lip mask. And this is the Dulce de Guava collection. It is so freaking pretty. It is like the perfect color. You could... Oh, hi, Nora. Sorry. I've been MIA here and there, but I'm always on Snap. Um, I rarely do um, Instagram like that, which sucks. Um, so, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I... I sorry love y'all I still love y'all I think about it all the time it's hard do you know how hard it was for me to drag my ass to sit down and talk to you guys but I was like I've been dying to talk to you guys since like Friday and Saturday and Sunday passed I've just been feeling under the weather and here we are um so mama has been needing this lip scrub and this lip mask no lie um so I just licked my lips so I don't like doing that so I have the lip scrub here Look at this packaging. Que chuleria. Easy on the go. Uh, it smells great. It's not a really strong scent at all. It's very soft. Their products aren't like super heavily scented. Like, yeah, I think I'm playing. Like, I literally have their lip gloss sitting right here. <laughs> well, thank you for always supporting. Um, yeah, so Viva is like on top notch. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. So the lip mask is, well, this is the lip scrub and it's just beautiful. Thank you, Jenny. I'm, listen, I've been drinking so much pineapple juice that I look at like a pineapple, okay? I'm starting to turn more yellow than I already am. Um, so this is the lip scrub. It's got the little follicles on it, the little follicles, the little sugar scrub on it. And I kid you not, this is what I've been doing. Just put it on the bottom of my lip the rest on the top i have ocd so i always clean off hello did you just meet me no i have ocd mild case nothing intense so what i do is i let the lip <laughs> this looks so sexy so this is a lip scrub so i always tell people that with lip scrubs you just have to be careful if you're super sensitive to like exfoliant type products to so just be careful so i take my finger and spread it around and then I just leave it on my lips for about a minute. Um, so sugar tends to pull that skin and kind of dry it up. That's the point. Of, that's why a lot of companies use it as a as a scrub. Excuse me. Me drinking. Hello, I have bariatric surgery. So I'm going to be kind of semi-burping a little bit. Sorry. Um, so I usually just leave it there. I tell people all the time, do not leave sugar scrubs on your lips too long because it'll start drying out that area and you'll start getting some peeling. Some people are very, very sensitive. So I always tell people, you know, you can keep it on, rub it around your lips and you're good to go. Take it off. Right. This you could probably eat. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, this is made, um, with, I tell you guys. Oh, it feels so thick. Like, it's thick, but not super thick. And the sugar just... Yes, honey. And this has, like, the lip gloss feeling to it, but in a scrub. So you feel the oils from the lip lip moisturizer part, and then you feel the little scrubbing sugar scrub granules or whatever. So it's made with real guava and um, guava seed oil and fruit extract. So you get that, like, 
moisturized feeling which is great and it's got sunflower and jojoba oil mango and castor seed butters so this is made this is cruelty free and vegan they're branded they really really just listen vive cosmetics okay and i know if you guys are here not new new you guys know i have talked about them before i even done lip swatch video for them and all that love these girls and gents if they have gents and their team and non-binary and whoever so as i'm rubbing it in the sugar's kind of dissolving which i love that i don't like when sugars kind of just stick and nothing happens it doesn't move i like i don't know what kind of sugar they be using mm. Mm. sorry i know this is weird but i am weird welcome so i'm gonna wipe this off mm. tastes so good I didn't want to eat it. You feel that? You see? You feel that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to feel these lips? Yeah, okay. Oh, no, it's a little scary. I'm sorry. I'm trying to scare you guys. But you see how it kind of... Because there's moisture on there. Love it. So... <laughs> Listen, if if you guys love this... I, I know a lot of people that love, like, lip scrubs and, and um, lip masks. I've been on a lip mask kick like nobody's business. I messaged them and I said, Mira, <laughs> I'm going to have to stock up on this lip mask because I need one on my desk. I need one at my other desk. I need one in my car, in my purse. Listen, I just, you know, whatever. Um, so I'm going to hold off on the lip mask. I'm actually going to wear it, but I'm going to show you guys. Que lindo. How pretty it is. So it's a really, really pretty shade. Universal shade. It's going to go on pretty clear. But it's a nice hue. You know what? I don't want to waste. <laughs> yeah, we just put it on now. How's that? And that's just a little bit. I just took it from my finger. Oh, so nice. Damn, girls. This feels so freaking good. Mm, sunflower seed oil, jojoba oil. All Okay, so fruit oils are the best oils for your skin, face, lips, all that hair. You want fruit oils. I always tell people all the time, plants and fruit oils are the best. Um, when you start using like dimethicones and stuff like that, those kind of block the pores. So they create a, it's great for if you put a moisturizer that has all these beautiful oils in it first, and then you want to use something with like dimethicone or some sort of silicone base. I don't recommend it. But if you use those products, I always recommend putting them on, on top of the good shit. Okay, so it seals that in. But this stuff... We're going to be gloating about it anyway. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get to priming. Look at this. I don't like this primer. It's a piece of shit. No, I have. <laughs> I'm literally down to like right there. Que mierda. Um, so I use two primers that have been like my go-to. My e.l.f. Jelly Pop and Milk Hydro. Now, I was told that e.l.f. came out with a new primer. Very similar looking to this color. Is that is it in my room? Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I didn't even moisturize. All right, so I'm actually not going to full wholeheartedly moisturize, but I'm going to be using my serum. This is my Mary Jane CBD Glow Serum. I've been using it. Um, I love this stuff so much. I found it just like on a fluke while I was like at Ulta. First of all, I live like just a few minutes down from an Ulta. It's a curse, I tell you. And then after I bought my house, <laughs> they're like, you know what? I know we've always denied you for credit, but how about we give you a credit card? So yeah, there's that. <laughs> so I had a very good Christmas, but as you guys can tell, I don't really shop anymore for makeup. It is just not a thing that I do anymore. Like, I will repurchase my favorites. And if there's a collection that really, really calls me in, oh yeah, I'm down for that. Mm. I ask a friend, okay? I'm all about the glossy lips. Even though I used to be all about my matte lips, when I was at home, I have always had like a lip mask on. And that's how I can rock those matte lipsticks, those, those liquid lipsticks. Look at my skin. 
girl jenny you lucky and like even online like i hate their shipping because they'll ship you like one eyeliner they'll ship me this and they have shipped me three of these con una caja with a big old ass box and i was like ¿Qué es like that's just overkill neither here nor there um i like them better than sephora i said it look at how this serum just it smells really good too. It has a very nice soft scent to it. I smell a little bit of the gloss, but it's not even heavy. But, uh, you guys know I love things that smell nice and fresh and sexy. I'm gonna take a sip. <laughs> this is like more pineapple juice than liquor though. Cause you know, I was trying to be good. So I put more pineapple. Oh, as you should. Well. Um, <laughs> I love this stuff so much. I really do. Like, I'm so happy that, like, they, like, reach out and all that. Like, I'm just, anyway, y'all, you know I'm not about that, like, sponsorship life. It'd be nice, but, like, I would only, I'd be so finicky just picking products that I like that I probably, I would just never get paid. Thank you. Listen, you don't even need grenadine. Esto, this is, um... <laughs> It looks like it's grinding. No, it's the maraschino cherry juice. That's already laced, okay? <laughs> it's not laced. It, I soak it in vodka or I soak them in tequila or I soak them in rum. So I'll take one jar um, and then I'll just fill it up with like half um, the, the, the maraschino juice and then liquor. It's amazing. Thank me later and then you just pour some in every time you make a drink plus your drink of choice um anyway so i'm actually gonna spritz my face this is the bretman rock collection do me in the jungle this is the wet and wild spritz it's oh, my last one but i love it it smells so nice mm. if i sneeze i'm sorry but not sorry because this is live you get to see me live anyway so i usually let that sit into the skin um sometimes i'll add a moisturizer um i'm not right now because this is literally i'm getting pretty for my couch because i wanted to you know sometimes i just i have to make time for me to have like a few hours of like a normal see so it feels like i have a day off or a night off and this is what i do anyway so for today i'm going to be using my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm in the shade Vanilla. I keep forgetting I'm in the shade Vanilla. And I'm actually going to be using, actually no, not that one. Am I? Yeah, I'll use this one. I'm gonna be using the Mega Last Incognito from Wet n Wild Concealer and this is in the shade No Puedo, light medium. So I like to mix my concealers, one with a really warm, this has a really warm, tone to it and then neutralize it a little bit with a lighter like yellow base um so it it works for me so vamos how you guys like my microbladed brows like i've had these for like shit almost two years two years anyway i don't need much concealer listen this is how crazy i look i don't know if you guys have watched my other live when i got ready for work one day but this is all i do legit and then oh uh, so i usually use the um elf 16 hour camel concealer because it's thicker the shade i use is light beige so it gives me that tone that i'm looking for these are not very far off in tone um this is a little bit more cool tone um this is so thick though i don't need much y'all i look crazy as shit but listen there's a method to my madness so i like blending and mixing concealers i add the lighter right to the top and then just add a little bit there. I got music in my head. Who else just sits around and has music in their head? I look so sexy. <laughs> um. Anyway, I'm going to take my favorite brush from a brand that I don't really fuck with like that. I'll be real honest. Um. But I love this brush. This is the Morphe M439 brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of blend the forehead out because I don't need it to look cakey. Um, 
and I didn't put much product. It's just because I get red like right in the center of my face. Like I'm like fucking jaundiced yellow and then I turn red. Anyway, so I pretty much take this and I just blend it up to my cheek. And yes, you can get like a full face looking type makeup look with concealer as I'm doing right now. Put some on the tip of my nose. Like this is the fastest way I get ready. And look put together for two shifts, two different jobs. And because I like, and I'm sure that people that need a little bit more cover up or, you know, think they need a little bit more cover up, they might need the foundation and stuff like that. I don't personally feel that I need that right now. And I've just really been embracing just seeing my skin always peeking through, which I'm fine with. I love my moles and my freckles. Again, I'm using pretty much all my favorite products. Like, no cap, we're just going in. Nothing changes. I actually need to refill and re-up on both of the concealers, these concealers. And I have an extra incognito one from Wet n Wild, so. So I'm just pretty much just taking whatever's on the brush. Like, I don't, and just blending it in. And as you guys can see, don't pay attention to the under eyes. It really doesn't look like I have much, but my skin is just soft. Clean off that mole. That mole that I get the most disgusting comments on. I get so many horrible comments on my beauty mark. And I'm like, well, first of all, I got that after I gave birth to my daughter. Um, and second of all, fuck you. Um, so, yeah. I don't apologize for shit. I don't care what other people's opinions are about what stuff is on my face. I have a freaking hair on my face somewhere. Yeah, I don't hate that. <clears throat> my stomach's starting to gurgle because, guys, I'm trying to be good. Oh, do I have a hair on my face? I'm trying to be good. Um, I gained, like, five pounds this week. And it could have been because I wasn't feeling good. And I was drinking nothing but, like, pineapple juice. <laughs> So I was drinking my carbs, y'all. I was drinking my carbs. So yeah, I'm just cleaning off the mirror so I can kind of use it while I'm getting ready with you guys. This is crazy. My daughter sits here sometimes and just watches me get ready. I'm like, what is so entertaining? It's because I ramble. <laughs> I ramble like an old lady. Una vieja. I'm kind of there almost. All right, so as you guys can see, I kind of let the concealer sit out for a little bit, right? I take my Sigma Precision Flat P80 brush. I remember I wanted this brush so bad. Um, so what I do is I start at the edges because concealers dry out at the edges. That's where you have the less product. And I just take it up and press it around the nose. Do you guys have like a favorite concealer? If you do, comment what your favorite concealer is and i take it for the inner corner of the eye because we want to neutralize this area and then i take it right right there i'll take it a little bit on my eye this is just whatever excess on the brush i just want to neutralize so i let that sit like that for a little bit well duh because you guys are watching me do it <laughs> Uh, yeah, comment your favorite concealer and what your skin type is. I would love to know. There's so many products out there, guys. Like, it's crazy. It's not like a one-size-fits-all, which I love that about makeup. And then I get to find out all these other amazing little finds that other people like. It makes me happy. And things that work. Like, someone told me to try the Camel Concealer. But then I told them I had dry skin and they were like, oh, never mind. I have really, really oily skin. And I bought it anyway just to see how it works. Because I, you know, just being a freelance MUA makeup artist for a while, I, um, you know, I still am curious about products and how they might work on certain skin types. Um, look at this. I look crazy. Um, so I'm kind of going to let that sit for a little bit. I'm going to look crazy together. How's that? But I'm not gonna lie, Too Faced did it right with a Too Faced Selves. 
beauty blender. This is actually a beauty blender. This one is the Sorbet one. No, it's a Sorbet collection. Something like that. I don't know. I take it. It's like dry wet. So it's like the slightest bit of damp. You can always re-wet it. This is my Trader Joe's watermelon facial mist. Sometimes I re-wet the sponges, roll them around in my hands because I don't want the just pure glycerin to be in my face. So I usually just do this. And it's still like lightly wet. And then I blend this and it's just going to smooth out so beautifully. Watcha. Bella. I do this so much, I literally could do this without a mirror. Look at that. Okay. Hello, goodbye. So me letting this concealer sit even on my dry skin just works. I moved it around. I blended it where I wanted it to sit. You really don't need much. And if you're a person that needs to color correct, of course, color correct first. But I love showing people this, like, the way that I've been doing my makeup lately. Because it's, like, a game changer. Literally concealer. So if you don't have anything and you're on the go, get your damn concealer and go. And you can mix things. That's the beauty of it. All right. So I'm going to set my under eyes first because I don't want them to start getting crepe. Creepy like me. So what I do is, this is my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Yes, y'all, I still use this. Tap whatever's on the excess. I think, I, I understand. <laughs> so concealer has a tendency to look cakey. So you think about it, irregardless of, of how great my makeup looks, when I look, when you look close, you're always gonna see imperfections, always and forever. Makeup is meant to look good from afar and on TV. Then I take whatever is excess. Um, so under the eyes, you have natural lines. Some people don't. Some people have fillers. Some people just have fucking perfect skin. And if you do, I secretly hate you in a loving way. Um. <laughs> So it does kind of cake, not cake up per se, but you see the creasing and all that. It's makeup. Makeup sits on top of the skin. Um, and it took me a while to be like, you know, oh, it looks great from afar. I'm like, that was the whole point of makeup, right? Um, so I always say, go lightly first. Cover the areas that you're concerned about. Me, really, I didn't need that much concealer. I could have just put it dotted like baby dots right there and just worked on that area. But I wanted to bring brightness to the whole face because... I want to show you guys that it can look like a full face of makeup and it's just concealer. Even though concealer is a little bit more emollient, like thicker, and sometimes more pigmented um, than most foundations, you can make it work and you can make it lighter. And that's where your sprays come in and, you know, using a light hand and blending it out. <clears throat> me, I let it sit so it built up. And what that does for me is it dries like paint, right? So because it dries, it blends, but it holds more coverage. So there's more coverage. It still blends a little bit, but that's why I specifically use the brush to blend it because it's going to be difficult to just blend with a sponge after it's been sitting there for a long time. So I wanted a beautiful, just like evened out tone. As you guys can see, I still look and have bags, but I look a little bit more put together. Um, but yes, um, always tread lightly with concealers. And I always recommend starting off really small. I think in the YouTube community, we have just made this triangular thing be the thing when it shouldn't really be. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be that way. Um, that is drag makeup techniques. They work. They're beautiful on drag. They're beautiful for movie, for TV and all that. It's, it's pretty, period. But not everybody needs to do that every day. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to do that every day. So as you guys saw, like, yeah, it was a little bit more than I probably needed, but that's kind of what I do on it every day. But yes, I understand maybe like treading lightly with concealer because it's a little bit thicker. So I think in moderation, I think you can always make it work. Um, and you can always blend it out fast so that you don't get such a buildup. Or you can let it sit and use less product and get that pigmentation. So just some tips while we talking. <laughs> so I'm going to be using the very well-loved and I need a new one and luckily Ulta carries it. 
um the milani this is janky okay this is the milani sun kiss silky matte bronzing powder um this is the shade two i actually wanted all three shades but i forgot if i've ever seen them in the store anyway this is my equal tools fan brush it's my favorite brush to do this my heater is going off right now it's getting colder so i just take the bronzer shade because this is a cool tone i use it to to kind of contour but i like using a fluffy brush like this because i don't like that chiseled look i have lost a lot on my face from the weight loss surgery and all that and just from losing weight in general um but i don't want that super chiseled look but i want that that tone to be there like i want the cool tones to be there but i find that using a fluffy brush even something like this which i use for my bronzer um even something like this this is the cosette s123 brush you get that chiseled look but it blows it out these brushes are very very soft so it blows it out and you get this like look at that how fast was that though you don't see me working it out like because i used to <laughs> no lie this is like my knockoff eda brush who remembers this now this thing just leaves like a straight line. I'm not gonna use it. Um, but this is my knockoff Eda brush that I've had for like about 10 years. And this thing just leaves that chiseled line. Um, we like a blend. We like sexy, natural contour. And that's what I go for. Child, look at, look at how red my neck looks. Red hair is maintenance. I take whatever's on the brush and I take it down my nose. Kind of messily, right? You don't see me chiseling my nose. This is kind of how I contour. Contour. Look at that. And then when people look at me, they don't see those lines. Like, I deal with a lot of people and, you know, I'm in their face and vice versa. And I just, you don't get that harshness. And I love that. I always tell people, use fluffy brushes. Fluffy brushes are your best friend. And if they're shaped right, even better. Um, so this is from a unicorn collection. I fucking forgot where I got this from. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be using a fluffy brush. This is a dome-shaped um, brush. And I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty Private Island bronzer. Again, this is well-loved. Like, it's ding dingy on the sides. I have to clean it. So I take it and kind of use this in the same motion, but fluff it up a little bit higher on the face, as you guys see. And kind of use it as a blush. And that's how I get the bronzy effect for my face. Now bronzing and sculpting and all that contouring is specific to one's face. I think if we follow just one guideline like the three is perfect, right? But it has to fit your face. It really does. You can't just do like a, a sharp three for every look or you're going to look crazy because it might not fit your face. I have kind of like a, honestly, I don't even know what kind of shape of uh, face I have. I feel like it's an oval with like a little chin chisel there. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Um, all right. I'm like damn near done, okay? And we're gonna get to the eyes and all that shit. All right, now for, um, I don't know, I guess we'll do, We'll do orange. We'll do an orange blush. This is the Animal Crossing's blush by ColourPop. Any orangey type. This is like a coral orange blush. My favorite is still the Hourglass one. The, uh, I forgot what it's called. I still have it and I love it. But it's so soft. So I take... Oh, this is the Cosette number 3 brush. This is my favorite brush. Oh, it's so soft. Cosette does it right. So as you guys can see, I'm kind of taking the bridge of the nose and I'm like sweeping this. So I look like I went outside. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I'm outside. Let me know if I'm rambling too much or if I'm not, you know, this where we're just getting ready. We're chit chatting. These are all my favorite products. I usually mix my Milani Romantic Rose with this one and I get a really, really pretty shade, but we're keeping it simple. <laughs> so I'm actually going to use this uh, palette. I'm going to do my eyes real quick. Actually, let's do, let's touch up the brows right quick i'm gonna be using the la girl shady slim brow pencil which color this is blackest brown 
this shade fits me so well because I have red hair, but I like to keep the cool tones. Thank you. Thank you guys. I appreciate you guys for joining the madness. Of course, this is going to be uploaded, duh, um, for others to see. And I love it. I'm sorry if you guys feel like you're late. You're not late. Shit, you know who's late? Me. My ass always late. So I have microblading on my brow, so I really don't need much filling. I just need to shape the front, the front of my brows, um, and then just touch up on the arch, um, just because it, it's a little faded. But I've had my microblading for over well over a year. Um, my lady is perfection. I do need to go to her. I got stalled um, last year when I was gonna go back to see her. So a lot of shit was happening. Like I was moving and shit, dealing with life, you know, being a homeowner, those good things. So that's it. Like, look how fast I do my brows. Like microblading is the way to go. If you got the money um, and you know someone that has really good work, you're paying for quality. Okay. And yes, it hurts like a bitch. I'm hypersensitive. I have um, a condition called allodynia. Um, and a, a version of that is all over the body. Um, so, uh, numbing agents <laughs> don't work on me. Not as, not as good as it would work on most people, but they do put like numbing lotion and stuff like that ointment on lidocaine pretty much. And it helps for me, but I, if I could do it, you can do it. I know I have a high pain tolerance, but it was quite freaking annoying to do and they look really really dark at first but i found the perfect way to take care of them i actually have a video i was supposed to upload going on two years now um but i do have footage from it so oh oh shit we got the uk hi hello oh my god where are y'all from we got the uk sorry i'm gonna have my finger all up in here we got the UK. I hope I didn't miss any comments. Nora. Oh. Okay. Hello, Miss Black. I love the names. I just don't want to butcher them. So yeah, look at that. Brows are really fast for me. They really are. And I love that. Um, and I really don't have to do anything. Oh, Lisa, girl. Yes, Callie. It's like 16 degrees over here. But you know, no, it is. Ohio. Ohio. Lorelli. I love that name. It's such a pretty name. I'm just brushing my brows because this, oh shit, Houston, where the good food at. It probably, y'all probably all got like amazing little eateries. Like my fat ass needs to be thinking about that right now. Oh, did I tell you guys that I'm kind of like resetting? I probably made a mention of it. Um, yeah, so I'm doing like a reset because mama gained weight. Hola, hola, Wanda. What's up, Wanda? <laughs> I'm acting up. I'm sorry. I haven't slept. I worked last night and then I worked this morning and I worked until this evening. And then I got home and I just stared into the wall for a little bit. And my husband's just like, you gonna film, babe? Or not? I'm like... I want to see my peoples. I'm so tired, y'all. I'm being stretched thin, and I'm not even thin yet. I'm still so nervous about the surgery, y'all. Really, 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 and truly. But you guys are going to be there for it. I'll try to film as many updates as I can. I'll probably go live a few times. Um, yeah, probably. Hopefully, I don't get... What the fuck is that? Hopefully I don't get brave and do that shit while I'm in the hospital looking a mess. <laughs> so let's do the eyes. And if you guys have any questions about like the cosmetic surgery that I'm talking about, it's panicolectomy. Go ahead. Listen, I got enough research. Any questions, drop them down. I'll try to be, oh, look at the whole arm. I'm actually going to be using the Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop. I've not used it yet. Normally I use... The Kat Von D palette, contour, shade and light palette that originally came out. I've had it since it came out. Well, a little bit after it came out because I'm not one of those people that runs to do shit like that. But 
we'll try a different shade and i'm gonna do the same eye look i do all the time which is like a bronzer and i literally could have used my bronzer but we're gonna use one of these shades so i'm actually gonna be having um what's called a panicolectomy um and that's removal of the panis it sounds like panis I went around for weeks saying that stupid fucking joke. Um, so I have a very low overhang um, belly, uh, which causes irritation. It actually enhances this lovely back pain I have. Um, and because of the weight loss, you know, fluctuating and all that, I have a loose overhang. Um, and I look pregnant and motherfuckers love to ask me if I'm pregnant. Oh my God, is it a boy or a girl or what are we having? Um not necessarily certain no um there's a lot of people that are heavier um let's say like i've met people that are like 300 pounds um they've lost a significant amount of weight but the overhang is keeping them from working out they have had to do revisions after they lose more weight but um doctors as long as it's uh, and it could get approved by insurance very easily especially with the conditions that you get with that um they can approve it multiple times because you would probably you know um need it right a whole memphis memphis barbecue i don't know listen guys i'm hungry because i've purposely not been eating um you know food um i'm kind of trying to kick in ketosis but yes um not necessarily meeting any weight requirements per se but i wanted a tummy tuck with it and one surgeon told me to lose 20 pounds and when i got my second opinion he was like i think you would benefit from losing 40 pounds before i feel comfortable doing that um they say it's easier with the less skin um the less fat the more skin and then closer to the muscle they can get so i understood that aspect so i had to do some soul searching it took a month or two to think about it and then i decided to just do the panicolectomy which is the skin removal um, I did tell my surgeon that he can remove the umbilical cord or not the umbilical cord, the belly button. Um, if it means that he would take off like another inch or so of skin and pull it down. So they cut from waist to waist, hip to hip. Um, they pull up your little fupa. So you get a little mons lift, your vagine. Um, because you know, it's, it's still an overhang and a lot of people that have lost weight will tell you that. Those, that's the, the ugly truth on those things that we don't talk about with weight loss, weight loss surgery, people that do weight loss naturally always, you know, they always seem to have issues with loose skin too. So we just don't bounce back like we used to. You know what I'm saying? That's just not how the skin works. So yeah, they're going to cut the overhang and then they're going to cut the excess skin. And you think about it and how he explained it to me was, this is your belly skin, it's thicker. And then this is where your vision is. And they're going to be doing... An incision a very thin incision so um i'll be from hip to hip i'll have drains i'll be wearing girdles which i do now anyway like i wear body suits and stuff so i'm not going to be uncomfortable with the those type of things um but i'll be wearing a, a binder and i'll probably be out of work for like three weeks i know everyone's like vacation and i'm over here like i guess um it's the only vacation i take is either to move or to have surgery so <laughs> but yeah um it's called the panicolectomy it's the removal of excess skin in the belly overhang and i love to call it a panis i mean it is an actual medical term but yes <laughs> um yeah so i'm getting that done and that'll be in may um i am nervous y'all thank you miss black so yeah you actually do not have to have um a specific like loss of weight they just what they do is they require you to have your surgery at least a year out for bariatrics. I've had three bariatric surgeries. I'm on my third. I did the lap band, the sleeve, which, <laughs> um, and y'all know. And then I trans, um, I did the gastric bypass uh, about a year ago, over a year ago, over a year ago. Good morning. Oh shit. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. <laughs> Happy Titty Tuesday. Thank you, Wanda. I'm just nervous. Cause I don't know how I'm gonna do with the pain. I already have a rental for a recliner. I already have things um, on my Amazon cart, like a binder. Like it's like a, a foam piece that you put in between your binder so that it doesn't rub for, on the incision. Like I'm, I'm all about um, wound care cause I've done wound care for so many years. So anyway, um, how much have I lost? In total, I've lost 101 pounds since I started this journey about up 10 years ago um <laughs> uh, 2013 is when i had my first bariatric surgery um so 
yeah, about eight, nine years ago. Girl, I don't even know. I can't math. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and since this surgery, I want to say I've lost at least 58 to 60 pounds um, since having the surgery. And then I just gained five fucking pounds. Anyway. Okay. Of each surgery. Oh, like the bariatric surgeries. Well, duh, those are the only surgeries I've had. I'm sorry, that was stupid. So the lap band I did because I wanted the least invasive. Um, I'm, As I do that, I'm gonna just do my makeup. Oof, recovery time, we'll talk. For which one? For bariatrics or what I was told for the the panis? I'm gonna use Shell Yeah, because it's like this really pretty pinky kind of color that matches my thingy. What's a thingy, my outfit? Um, so the lap band, I initially started with this when they were doing the lap band and it's a band that goes around your belly um, and then you have a port placed um, under the skin and they fill that with saline so that you get more restriction. I thought that was great. I was like, I could use to lose a lot of, I think I lost like 45 pounds with that in total. Um, but it wasn't like the biggest loss. And then I started noticing that I was like nauseous and vomiting everything i would eat and i was having difficulty eating the things that i was supposed to eat all the healthy stuff um so everything that went down were the bad seas the crumbly foods um so those things were causing me to like to to throw up my food but to be able to eat all the shitty food like cookies crackers candy those are the crumbly you know crumbly foods um cookies and candy so that's what they call the bad C's in the bariatric world. Maybe not in all bariatric worlds, but oh, this color doing something for me for my lady bits. <laughs> um, so after a two years, um, we transitioned because I was having difficulty. I didn't want them to empty out the um, the cushion because they could empty it out, and but I was scared to gain. Um, and have full flex of my stomach. So they don't cut the stomach, they just wrap a lap band around it. That's pretty much what that is. Um, and I was successful with it for the first like eight months and then I plateaued and wasn't losing any more weight. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to pick my eye, but we are not trying to look crazy. So I always have Q-tips on dick. Oh! Oh, shit. I lost you there, babe. Oh, Lisa, yes, yes. Oh, Vivica, thank you. Um, So I did that. I had it for two years. I plateaued. The doctor was like, I'm not, I know you're not happy. He's like, would you consider getting a revision? He wanted me to do, it's the same surgeon, by the way. Um, I trust him with my whole life. Um, He's an amazing fucking doctor and surgeon for bariatrics. He, they do other surgeries too, like they do hernia repairs and all that. That's not their only forte, but that is, he's the chief of medicine for that um he's yeah he's the head doctor for that team and i love him very very much um he's an amazing doctor and he doesn't give a shit about numbers you can tell him oh my god my goal weighs 200 and he's like i don't care what your number is i want you to be happy content and successful he's like that's it he does not give a shit what your numbers are he just wants to see that you're doing the work and that you're doing it for yourself and for nothing else holy shit i love this color what um so anyway had it for two years, decided to go with the sleeve. I didn't have any gastritis, no GERD, no acid reflux, no issues that I could have thought of. And I thought that that was the least invasive. And he told me, he's like, well, Evie, all of these surgeries are invasive. Yes, we go in laparoscopically, but I'm still cutting your stomach. He's like, I recommend you do the gastric bypass. I think you'll have better results with it. But... He's like, I'm only telling you because you asked me. Because I asked him what he thought. And then I still fucking went the other way, right? Lesson learned. Never again. Um, it's not happening again. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to actually do an eye look. What? What? Okay. So I'm going to take heh, Nutty. A little bit, little bit of Nutty on this because that brush is the S175 um, brush. If you want to splurge on brushes, I'm tapping off the X's because we're really not trying to look crazy. I'm gonna take this just right here. Oh, shit. Oh, ColourPop has some pigment? Let me find out. I'm just trying to keep it nudie. Nudie and cute. Um, so yeah. Um, after 
the um, two years with the lap band, I went for the sleeve. I didn't listen to the doc. I should have fucking listened to the doc. Um, but he didn't, I mean, he didn't know. He thought I could do well with both. He just thought I'd have a bigger weight loss with the gastric bypass. And I don't think he's wrong. I don't, I should have fucking listened to him. Hence the reason why that's his job. He's like, I think you'll do great with both. I'm just telling you because you asked me what I recommend. And this is what I recommend for you. I said, well, we'll go ahead with the sleeve. He's like, all right. I said, is the sleeve revisable? Like if something happens and it doesn't work out. I should have known because I asked that question, right? It's, just because, you know, I'm I'm all about learning and stuff. But, I mean, he's always good about education. He'll tell me what the fuck it is anyway, whether I ask him or not. Um, oh. <laughs> um, you don't need much. I'm just taking the brush that I used with the other color and just blending it out. Because I don't want to look crazy. Um, so, yeah. Um, literally, after I had that surgery, I came out of surgery. I was a miserable bitch. Miserable as fuck. Okay. I'm going to take... The same two colors i'm gonna take the lighter color um and then i i started noticing that as soon as i had surgery i was miserable i thought it was because of anesthesia it wasn't just because of anesthesia it was just the surgery itself um i did well with it i lost like 40 again 40 44 pounds with that surgery i lost everything i had gained with the um lap band i lost that and got down to like a happy fucking 247 um, that was my lowest weight with the lap, um, with the gastric sleeve. Um, my lowest weight with the lap band was like 260s. Um, I couldn't get out of that fucking number. Hated it. Um, but, you know, I felt better and all that. I'm going with Nutty. So, either way, I started noticing that water felt like heavy rocks. It was really rough. They're like, well, water's dense. You're going to feel it. And, you know, they were they were able to explain why I felt that way, which understood. Water is dense. Here's a little, little, little science. When you add molecules to it, like sugar um, or granules of some sort, it expands. So it sits less heavy, right? So crystal light packets and stuff like that were my friend for a long time. But I also like my water. I don't want shit flavored all the time. But water hit me like a ton of bricks, and I hated that. Um, eventually down the line, maybe like six months down the line, I started experience. Yes, I'm saving the live, baby. This is going to be uploaded throughout the night while I'm sleeping. However long it takes. It's going to be long and I'm sorry because we're already at 52 minutes. Oh my God. Can y'all tell me to shut the fuck up? <laughs> like who likes to listen to me talk this fucking long? I love y'all. <laughs> um, so look at the eye look. Like this is simple for me. Like this is great. And it's got depth. De depth. Anyway. Um, so what was I saying? Yeah, I was miserable five years in the making. Um, I started reaching out for help maybe after year two. So what happened is, you know, you kind of get discouraged as a bariatrics patient, right? You're like, okay, well, I'm losing weight, whatever. I can eat just a little bit of food, even though I throw up every fucking thing I eat. Um, I don't like it and blah, blah, blah. Um, so I just dealt with it, right? I threw up every fucking thing. I can throw up air at this point. Um, I'm going to go in with Coco Crush. That's fucking gorgeous. Mama, watch out. Um, I'm just going to... Ooh. Take my finger. Ooh. If this palette's still available, do y'all have this palette? This is pretty as fuck. Mm. Sorry, I'm losing train of thought. I like pretty shiny things. <laughs> um, and yes, you could do things with nails as you see me doing them. Dumbest question I hear is, how do you do anything with those nails? No offense to those that ask it. It's like an initial reaction response. But it's like the same way you're watching me do it is how I'm doing it. Off track, I know. Kind of comes off bitchy. I know. Hello, welcome to the jungle. Oh shit, I don't even have a primer on my lids. This is sexy as fuck. What? Oh, this is a good neutrals palette. I live. I'm going to wipe my finger before I wipe it on my dress. Um, anyway, so I dealt with the lap, uh, the gastric. <laughs> yes, Lisa, since you've been through all three, then you know why. Clearly, you needed a revision for a reason, right? Um, 
it was frustrating though like it's so fucking frustrating because it's like you want to ask for help and then you're embarrassed because at this point you decided that you wanted this surgery um and i should have known better my team's fucking amazing i don't even know why i questioned it i'm just wetting the brush because this is a loose okay hold on while i have a little makeup gasm Oh man, I'm going to bed like this. Fuck that. You know how I say about cleaning your face before? Yeah, no. So I'm going to bed. I'm like, I'll sleep anyway. Um, so yeah, everything felt like rocks. I was vomiting every fucking thing. I finally asked for help. They put me on medication for my acid, severe acid reflux. It got so bad. At first, they couldn't find anything. So after two years, I went and they did, you know, they do the typical like upper GI shit. They make you swallow that nastiness and then they take pictures of it to see how bad it goes down. They're like, everything seems pretty fine. Like I could see a little bit of slowing down, um, but nothing too bad. Child, when I went back before my surgery, um, I'm not going to lie. I don't want euphoria. <laughs> I know. I heard a gasp. Um, I don't even though i've been watching okay i don't know the hype i don't know what the hype is about i really don't i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry i watch all the twitter feeds and it's frustrating because like i don't really care <laughs> about it and like i would just want to watch like or hear about shit that i want to hear about but i don't know nothing about before you baby i'm sorry but i'll look i don't mind i don't mind this is pretty oh so pretty I might use a little bit, no. Let me mix it up with some of this golden color. What? Damn. I'm going to use like a golden highlight anyway. This is pretty. It's got a nice little beige. I'm sorry. Oh my God, somebody going to send me hate mail, y'all. I mean, how the fuck? You now watch it for you, first of all. <laughs> um, this is the only time I have off right now, and it's fucking midnight, and I have to be at work. Or be getting ready for work in the next four hours. Okay. Okay. No, not at you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Maria. Yo, I think that's it for the eye look. Crusty Dusty. Is it a little boring for you? Good, thank you. Somebody being honest. Because, you know, I, I guess, I guess you know, it's the hype right now. Everybody's watching it. They're intense. I think it was the last episode. I'm telling you, I could just get the feed. I'm getting named. I'm just assuming it's Euphoria. It's my fa one of my favorite fragrances by Calvin Klein, but it's all the fuck I know. That's my age. <laughs> I'm going to highlight real quick using the Vive Cosmetics palette and then chit-chat a little bit more about these surgeries. Um, so recovery time for the lap band excuse me, I was miserable because it was my first surgery, so everything felt heavy. I had a really belly, a big belly. Duh. So, you know, they go laparoscopically. I was gone for like two, three weeks and went back to work. Um, but at that point, I was a tech and a CNA, so I was doing heavy lifting. For my um, sleeve, I was still a tech um, slash secretary. Uh, so I was able to lighten it up a little bit, lighten the load. Mirate color. This is Reina and this is Diosa. Diosa is not for me, but I use it on my lids and it gives me the sexy, smoky, golden bronze. I mean, it's fucking sexy, um, but it's not for my face. I am too pale yellow Latina like jaundice. That's me. Um, but this color, watcha. And this is like a light baby wash of it because I could go I could go in, but you know, it's very aggressive of me too. I just want a soft golden glow on my skin because I'm so jello. Anyway, so after five fucking years, um, I ended up just finally my doctor was like, You're miserable, we're doing it. And because of COVID and shit like that, like we had to um Okay. Yep, we'll talk about that in a six. In a six. Um yeah, the recovery time for those surgeries are usually two to three weeks. They don't want you to lift, of course, traditionally for six weeks plus, especially if you have a heavier job because at this point, you know, you still have your stomach cut or whatever. But anyway, when I went in for my revision, even my doctor saw, he's like, you just took a sip of water. We're talking telehealth, okay? And he's like, you look miserable. 
I was like, what do you mean? And I'm like, not thinking of it. He's like, you subconsciously are so miserable when you drink. Like you, you, you try really hard. And he's like, I already can see you're uncomfortable. I was like, oh, I was like, well, he's like, he's like gastric bypass. I was like, yeah. He's like, okay, we'll get you scheduled for that. And I had already started the prereqs already because I wanted that. But I wanted to know what he thought. If there was another interventional surgery we could do. He's like, no, no, gastric bypass. That's okay. <laughs> this is so soft. It's pretty. Kind of goes with my outfit. I wasn't even planning it. I just saw the going cocoa nuts because it's my favorite fruta besides pineapple, mango, guava, and tosa mielda. Um, Yes yes so after my gastric bypass surgery yin and yang one they had my medications all set and they understood the assignment when i told them i was fucking allergic to certain things they finally fucking got it because i was so miserable we're gonna spritz before we put um mascara because that's what we should all do and i just spritz right here why because we wear masks so force to have it I don't spray here because it'll kind of create a little sticky barrier and you'll get the lines. So I kind of just spray where I would want it glowy. Bat wings. Um, yeah, look at that. Viva just comes through, okay? Viva Cosmetics just comes through. Um, let me wipe, pat this out a little bit. Anyway, instant relief. Once I fucking woke up from my gastric bypass, I was scared to drink water because I was like, I don't want this to feel the same. She's like, go ahead, baby, take a sip. My nurse was the fucking best. All my nurses were great. And she was like, take the sip. Do it. Think of it as as liquor. And um, she was like, thanks, Wanda. And I was like, oh. so I took a sip and I started crying. She's like, oh, God, it's good, right? I was like, it felt like nothing. I mean, I could feel the surgery. It's weird but i did not feel that feeling it was gone and he told me he's like i promise you you're not going to feel it evie i promise you you'll you'll be healed before i close you up how's that and i was like okay i was so skeptical but bitch here we are um so for the panicolectomy for the panis the recovery time is two to six to eight weeks it's all dependent on how much you know how big you are how much excess skin they take out um and really how you overall do he wanted me to take off at least three weeks so i did i listened i took exactly three weeks off from the surgery date not a day sooner not a day well maybe a day sooner um for but because i have sedentary type jobs i can work around not having to push or pull anything and i don't need to um so hopefully by week one they'll take out the drains um because i think i have a week follow-up and then i have a two-week follow-up and that makes it three weeks um after surgery um <clears throat> so i'm nervous i'm excited uh but yeah recovery time just varies um i'm not doing a muscle repair so that might take a little bit longer but they're supposed to supply me with a binder i'm going to buy a binder myself something a little bit softer maybe black um because i don't want it to like stain and stuff and you could see it i want to be able to like wear it for work and stuff and i'm pretty much gonna end up wearing a binder for at least maybe my first year um a lot of people that i've seen listen join support groups and find support groups if there's something that you're looking for tummy tuck um panicolectomy weight loss surgery there's so many support groups out there and like i'm seeing so many stories and so many surgeons i'm gonna line my lips with the la girl best fucking lip liner ever keep it spicy don't sell it out though I act like I have a million subscribers, but it's the best. Get it. Um, yeah, so that's that recovery time is going to be a little bit more intense, but I guess I won't have that loose hanging skin to feel myself weighed down, but I'll have the incision, which um, I heard mixed reviews mostly that is less painful than a c-section i never had a fucking c-section so i don't know but kudos to you women oh my god maria you have <clears throat> details how was your tummy tuck like how did you feel like, did you feel like death warmed over i'm scared y'all just because i'm hypersensitive and high pain tolerance if that makes sense so i'm miserable i can hide it very well but i just don't want to have a breakdown i just don't want to have a meltdown i probably will probably have like seven of them 
one per day. Oh my goodness, Maria. What's after your, br oh, after a breast lift. So you still had tissue. Yeah, I, I can imagine. So with a breast lift, you pretty much keep most of your tissue. Um, with a breast augmentation, I think they remove and then they add, right? Did you have to go back in and get it removed and then kind of get implants? to be gentle and kind girl, I'm rough. Okay. And I have dogs, I know my boys will be okay. Ah, oh, shit. Yo soy masoquista. <laughs> Ooh, five, Lisa. You could say no at any time, you know. Five of oh, my ovaries, girl. <laughs> my vagina hurts. <laughs> Kudos to you. So what hurt? Oh, you did. Oh. Oh. Are you going back to, or did you go back to, or they probably want you to wait a bit before you get, get your breast done? Or are you planning on it? Oh my God, what the hell? I got, that got very, not dark, it's it's real life. And I love that about my viewers because you guys are just like fucking telling it all. Cause nothing is fucking rainbows and fucking unicorn farts. All boys, oh, hey, does it? <laughs> That's great. I would find it because I wanted a breast lift and I wanted the, the panicolectomy at least done. A breast lift and a panicolectomy. He says, I can't pull and I can't pull. You know, I can't pull both ways. So they're not comfortable doing that. Um, I personally would rather fucking do it. Wait, Lisa, five C-sections? Which one was worse? Mommy makeover or the C-sections? And I'm sure each one felt different. Okay. Oh. It's funny because we don't need them, but it's just like us. Like it's part of, I don't know. See, I wouldn't know. I don't, I guess that's a good thing. Okay, see, you. that's like an 80 percentile, 80 to high, about almost 90 percentile of comments that I get is that the C-sections are worse than the fucking panicolectomy or tummy tuck. I don't know why I'm keep lining my lips. I think I'm just like, I'm like a worried friend because <laughs> I just found out some news. You know, like I don't know how to feel. Oh my God. Well, my dear, best of luck to you. You're getting your bubbies back this year. Oh, speedy recovery, honey. Do you have a set date yet? Anyway, might as well fill my lips. But look at this color, it's like the prettiest shade. Like it's, mm, it suits me in this wild red hair. That's what I heard, that the tummy will be numb. I know you guys probably can't see the live comments um, as you're watching this on playback later. Um, I think you can watch it with comments. But yes, I heard that my tummy or most tummies feel numb which is fine because I wanted a tattoo. So what happens is gonna happen is I'm gonna make sure and reiterate it with my surgeon because I don't know, he doesn't listen sometimes. I just wanna let it in la cara. I'm like, excuse me, sir, Luigi. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, I just wanna reiterate with him that we are taking the belly button out. No lo quiero, no wanti at all. Huh, we're at 69 minutes and yeah yeah maria i mean i had that issue with all three bariatric surgeries <laughs> girl when the each surgeon was like we lift the the pousse a little bit and, and you know i was like and nobody really complains about that of course not 
lift her up she's chunky she's way more chunkier than she needs to be okay she's got a little extra floof i hear that it, some people still deal with numbing even like a year or two out um which i'm fine with because really for what with the belly or the boobs sorry i'm like <laughs> i lost track of the comments for a second Mm. We're using the lip mask. Run till that. Oh, just feels so good. I gotta wipe it off. I love guava, and it's got this really beautiful, lightly sweet taste to it, but it smells so nice and soft, but it's got that tinge of guava. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I bet. But I, I've done research on it, so I assumed that I was going to be numb. Um, but yeah, the medication is probably going to drive me crazy because I'm very hypersensitive to medication. Oh my God, how the fuck am I going to do a look and not do my mascara? I'm not loca. So Lash Princess from Essence is my favorite mascara, okay? Hello, goodbye. I use two all the time. I don't know why. Just because of the brushes. So my favorite is the green tube. I know we're off track and then on track. Y'all know. And I still had mascara on my eyes. I had residual mascara. Oh my God, Viva's gonna probably see this video and be like, esta habla mucho. Coño. I'm not kidding, guys. Like, I am grateful that this is a sponsored video. But at the same time, it's like, I would not. I love their products so much. Like, I've had their products for years. Bought my daughter one, like... And I'm just going to re-up on this mask because it's so sexy. I kind of wish they had like a thicker version too. Like a more like um like a Tatcha style. One that comes in a pot. I don't know why I have this weird obsession with needing a pot. It feels more masky to me. But I love this so much. The applicator is cute. My only thing is my OCD. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> You're still happy with Snoop? That's good. I mean, I'm scared and happy for you. You survived this. Oh my God. You're getting new bubbies this year. And I hope that you're overall just happy and healthy and that's all that matters. Um, Self-love goes a long way. It's just scary. Men could never. Men could never. Not to bash men, but men could never. Men are good to look at, though. So. <laughs> Listen, y'all came to this channel, okay? Yes, Maria. Like, I am praying for you i just i thank you for sharing that like it's so intimate and like i'm like literally like i don't know what to say like you know and i you know nobody really just wants pity like you're strong as shit like that's woman right there Mar woman right there my god girl you get them tetitas and i hope you're happy and, and snatched how you want to and that you feel amazing and look at how far you've come. Like, holy shit. I hope you have an amazing support system, too. You got me. I mean, I'm not very good at that much. Like, peopling. I'm just online. Why I look like I did, like, a whole fucking beat face? Damn. Minimal makeup, though. Like, it wasn't, like, a shit ton of powders. I didn't cake it everything on. This eye look, though. I'm mad at it. Mira que estúpida soy, I didn't even line my eyes, que coño. Sorry. Not sorry. That's all right, we'll wait till it dries and then we'll... I know how to line my eyes. <laughs> I just pile on the mascara. Literally, this is the longest part of my makeup process, is the mascara and apparently lining my lips while I'm talking to you guys. What's up, Monique? I, another name I love. I love all y'all names. 
Most of my favorite nurses were named Lisa. Um, I have some friends that are named Maria who are just sexy, luscious little things. Little things is like really la petites, la petites. Um, oh, last injection. Like tomorrow, today, or Wednesday? Ah, oh, congratulations, last injection. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Not you have to be, honey. You don't have to be strong. You just naturally are. Just push through. Like I said, men can never. This isn't for everybody. I can't believe that. Not that I can't believe it, but you know, it's like, it's so surreal to see what our bodies go through and how strong women can be. And like, they just, you just really feel like there's no other option. So what you gonna do, you know? Wow, you're amazing. Amazing. Well, um, listen, last injection today, tomorrow. I don't know, he <laughs> said tomorrow, so. Um, that's, that's good to hear. Damn, y'all, we've been on this live for a bit. Oh, do you have the same palette? Like this is going coconuts. Like I literally just used three colors and you really didn't really need to use it, but I like adding a little depth. Um, I mean, look, we used Shell Yeah, Nutty and Coco Crush. This is literally the only reason why I bought the palette though. Um, the Coco, this right here is a shade that you could do an all over the lid look. Like this is that sexy, oh yeah, smoldery look that you could just do a wash over the eyes. And just get that little grunge look. Yes. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Oh, oh, okay. It's Wednesday. They're here too tomorrow. So it's Tuesday. Today's Tuesday. Child, if I didn't have my alarms, I would not know where the fuck I'm supposed to be. Thank you, Jenny. This is it. I don't even do shit with my hair. I wet it. And I, um, I I try not to straighten it now so much because it's at this ugly stage where the hair's about to grow out and it's gonna flip. Thank you. And I have the lip mask over top. So I have the uh, Vive Dulce de Guava collection. This is their newest collection. Listen, you guys like lip scrubs? This right here. And support a Latina owned brand or Latin's own brand. Just the indie brand itself. Like I love seeing great products from indie brands. You know that they put in their heart, soul, their money into it. And they're not like bought out by like, you know, I'm not gonna say no names, but you know, like this is mass produced. That's why it's so inexpensive. But this stuff, their products are reasonable. Mira, hasta le voy a poner un poquito de lip gloss. This is kit. This is a gorgeous gloss. Look at this. It's very similar in tones to this. This just feels like, <sighs> y'all, y'all would have seen me four years ago. You'd been like, you don't like gloss. I did, I mean, I did and didn't. I just didn't like it when, you know, go outside, everything sticks to your face. But I have a new appreciation in my age for gloss. That's all I've been wearing during this panoramic, this pantaletas, that's all I've been wearing during this pandemic is gloss. Mm -hmm. so positive vibes for all of our surgeries upcoming surgeries thoughtful surgeries it, it, listen best wishes positive vibes all throughout healing vibes of course um and i'm gonna try to film this journey with you guys i've tried to be so transparent here on my channel as to why i wasn't filming and why i wasn't doing things this is my beauty space now i've moved you know i've done so much in the last year i don't know how the fuck i did it um with help of course um with my loving family my all two people um i just you know and then to have always the support of you guys and like the few brands that like really are like reaching out seeing how i'm doing always liking my pictures whenever the fuck i post and just being super supportive like i'm really lucky and those smaller relationships like they always say i'd rather have four quarters than 100 pennies um that it rings true in real life for damn near everything and I know this was like a weird video, but like I love doing lives with you guys. We just ramble and talk and that's really my personality. Um, I've been doing YouTube for so long and I've edited and I've tried to be like profesh with a little me in it. Um, and to the point, especially when I do my wig reviews and stuff like that, which I haven't in a while. 
y'all. Um, thank you, Maria. I'm actually not, well, yeah, I'm going to work in a few hours, but yeah. <laughs> thank you. And I'm glad that you're doing well as well. Um, good luck to you. So excited for you to get your last injection and then you're going to get boobies, you know, refilled, you know, your, your girly bits or what makes your girly bits. Um, but you're fucking amazing and strong. And I thank you for sharing that with us here in the class. <laughs> and I'm here. I'm going to be trying to do more lives, especially when it gets closer to surgery. Um, and you guys are, I always make them available. So they'll always be uploaded as regular videos. Holy shit, 80 minutes, y'all. How y'all tolerate me for this long? But anyway, we're going to cut this now. Um, cut this now. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to finish my drink and try to vag out on the couch because it's not like I'm going to get any sleep. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing night. I think it's night for most people unless you're like in Japan or Russia or somewhere else. Um, now I'm starting to, now my energy is going down. I'm hungry, y'all. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm glad you guys like this look. Like I literally pulled this out of my ass, but that's literally all I do. It's so easy. I think people think that makeup has got to be so complex. It does not. Do what you like. Do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Life's not a dick. You don't got to take it so hard. Damn. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, I want you guys to be happy, healthy, safe, and don't talk to strangers that got cooties. We're still in the middle of a pandemic. A pantaleta. We're still in the middle of this. So it's like, I want it to be done, but it's not done. And um, don't talk to strangers. I mean, talk to me, but you know. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys so much. I'm starting to lose my voice. Love that for me. It goes in and out. I sound raspy, which kind of sexy for some people, but for me, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, you guys have an amazing night. Bless you guys. Muchos besos. And yeah. Um, hit up Viva Cosmetics on Instagram. At least like their page. Support for me. S tell them I sent you. Tell me EVP MUA. Oh, oh my fucking God. I have a code. I have a code. I'll link it down below because I forgot the code. <laughs> I made the code and I forgot it. Um, but yes, I have a 15% off coupon code for Viva Cosmetics. So it will be linked with this video. And yeah. How can I freaking forget that? Que pendeja. Anyway, I love you guys. Bye. <laughs>